Life Science Centre. I'm sure a lot of you have been baking during lockdown, and you might have even had some baking disasters. Baking is similar to chemistry in that you take some ingredients, mix them together, heat them up, and get a new product at the end. In this case, a tasty cake. But if you miss out an ingredient or use the wrong amount, you're probably not going to get the end product that you were hoping for. We're going to do an experiment to find out what each ingredient does by missing it out of the recipe. My basic sponge cake recipe has four ingredients, self-raising flour, sugar, butter, and eggs. You need equal amounts of each. You could use plain flour and baking powder instead of self-raising flour. Self-raising flour is just these two ingredients combined. I'm going to make one batch of cake mixture using all the ingredients and then make five more mixtures, four with an ingredient missing and one using plain flour instead of self-raising. When doing an experiment like this, it's important to only change one ingredient at a time, otherwise we won't know which ingredient has caused any changes. These cakes need to go in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 12 to 15 minutes. Make sure you have adult supervision when using the hot oven. Well, they smell pretty good and there's some obvious differences. This orange cake didn't have any flour and it's turned out very small and very soft and very, very sticky. Flour provides the structure in a cake. It contains gluten. Gluten is quite elastic -y, so it can stretch as the cake rises. The yellow cake didn't have any sugar in it. It's very small and pale. As well as making things taste nice and sweet, sugar also gives things a golden brown colour. It also helps with the texture. This cake has lots of very big holes in it. A cake without sugar in will also dry out much faster. The green cake doesn't have any butter in it. Butter helps make the cake nice and moist. Fatless sponges tend to be quite small and quite dense. This cake is very dry and quite solid. The blue cake didn't have any eggs in it. Eggs have a yolk, which is quite fatty, and a white, which is high in protein. When proteins are heated, they break down or denature, and that helps with the structure of the cake. The cake without any eggs has sunk in the middle, it's also kind of like a biscuit, it's solid. The pink cake has all four ingredients, but instead of self-raising flour, it has plain flour in it. That means it doesn't have any baking powder in it. Baking powder is a raising agent. It reacts and produces carbon dioxide gas. This makes bubbles and makes our cakes rise and be nice and light and airy. So without that raising agent, the cake is quite small and quite dense. But compared to some of the others, it doesn't look too bad. It does taste a bit funny though. I saved the red cake to last. This one had all of the ingredients in the correct amounts. It's a nice golden brown colour, it's risen all the way to the top of the cake, and hopefully it's quite tasty. Ooh, it feels nice and spongy and squishy. It's got some air holes in it. Mm, it's pretty good. Why not give this a go yourselves? You could use a different recipe. You could find out what happens if you use different amounts of an ingredient rather than missing them out. What happens if you use too much of an ingredient? Let us know how you got on using hashtag life goes online.